Gentlemen, good morning. My name is Zachary Nix, and it is my great joy to testify to God's goodness this morning. The Lord saved me when I was nine years old, thanks to my Christian parents, most especially thanks to my mom. More than anyone else, she laid the foundation for my faith. All of the early defining gospel conversations that I can remember I had with her. And I remember watching each day as she would get up and faithfully read and pray over her Bible in her chair, teaching me the trustworthiness of God's word by her life and example. I came to Los Angeles in 2002 to attend UCLA. I married my high school sweetheart. I got a job. I got plugged into a church. And about 10 years ago, we began to explore the possibility of moving into full-time ministry while also trying to start a family. And those two things seem to... uh, prohibit any possibility of formal training. I didn't see how I could be a student and support a family. And so we explored various opportunities, but one by one, they all fell through and none of them worked out. And then on February 28th, 2011, we were devastated when doctors told us that we would likely never be able to have any children. And in the aftermath of that wreckage, we began to ask, what does God want us to do now? And it was my sweet wife who first suggested, I think you need to go to seminary. Thanks to the, <clears throat> thanks to the example of our pastors, we were led to their school, the Master's Seminary. It was in L.A. It helped that it was affordable because we were adamant that we did not want to take out any student loans for schooling. We received our acceptance letter on June 9th, 2011, and we were so excited. We immediately began to dream about what the next three years were going to look like. And then, as we were getting ready for bed that night, we discovered that my wife was pregnant with our first child on the same day. So how is this going to work? Two things happened that summer. First is that our best friends gave us an apartment rent-free for the duration of school. Second, after telling my employer of my plans, my unbelieving employer raised my salary by 34%. Some of you guys get anonymous envelopes full of cash. I got to keep my job. We didn't know then that it was going to take us seven years to get to graduation. And undoubtedly, there have been some very hard times during those seven years. Frustration over the slow progress. Exhaustion from trying to work full-time and be a student. Being crammed into a tiny one-bedroom converted garage apartment with first one baby and then two babies. We lost a third, a little girl, during pregnancy as well. But gentlemen, this was God's way for us. We had so much that we needed to learn, and it could only come through the crucible that he orchestrated for us. And because it was his way for us, he has graciously supplied the strength for us to do it. And because it was his way for us, it has been so, so good. In the end, I've had the privilege of spending seven years at TMS. That's more than double the amount intended. And I'm graduating as we desired without any student debt, thanks to God's gracious provision. I don't know why God chose to bless us like this, but he did. And I'm so thankful. I'm thankful for the generosity and the patience of my employer. I'm thankful for our friends and the home they provided. I'm thankful to my, for my two children who have only known their dad as a student. I'm thankful for all of my professors, for your ministry to my soul, from a short guy from Ohio to a gladiator, and every one of you in between. But mostly, I am so thankful for my precious wife, Ginger. We met when we were 10 years old. And it was love at first sight for her. (laughs) 
I'm an idiot, okay? I didn't know what was standing right in front of me. But she knew. And that 10-year-old little girl promised that she was going to follow that scrawny boy anywhere. And gentlemen, I can tell you, she has made good on that promise. She is a constant inspiration to me, encouraging me when I need it, confronting me when I need it, putting up with being married to a man who's trying to go in five different directions full speed at the same time. No one, no one, including myself, has made more sacrifices over these last seven years than she has. And what's amazing is you can go and ask her. She's here. With all that she's put up with, she'll tell you, I haven't made any sacrifices. I have everything I ever wanted. Sweetheart, it is such a joy to be your husband. I love you very much. Our future plans. Near term, I'm going to continue to serve as a non-vocational pastor at our church, Cornerstone West Los Angeles. Additionally, we are looking to plant a church in the Lawndale-Gardena area within the next 18 months. Paul writes in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 4 to 9, I give thanks to my God always for you because of the grace of God that was given you in Christ Jesus, that in every way you were enriched in him in all speech and all knowledge, even as the testimony about Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any gift as you wait for the revealing of our Lord Jesus Christ, who will sustain you to the end. Guiltless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ, God is faithful, whom you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.